Sorry, go. That's re- no, that's the point. What we would look at is no curbside pickups, no restaurants closed, etc. It would be that we need to decrease consistently capacity. And of course, this also just holds for private gatherings. That's the point. If we want to avoid that case numbers continue to go up and double every three days or so for Omicron, then we need to react relatively swiftly. And what if this doesn't happen, uh, what you're recommending? What are the consequences in Ontario, potentially? Well, it can look uh, very challenging. No, our ICUs will get overwhelmed then. Our hospitals will get overwhelmed. People are exhausted oh. by this, right? And nobody debates that, and it's not news to you. Do you, like, wh- how do you think people would react to that, to what you're suggesting? Do you think people would follow those rules, or are people so fed up at this point I see you making the, the prayer with your hands, but you know, you talk about mental health, right? People are suffering now, right? But you see, that's the point. We need to change our attitude. What do you do if, they, if you're on a beach and the tsunami is coming? You tell me. Hmm. You say, oh, there's no tsunami. What? I still don't get it. What does that have to do with anything? We need to change our attitudes. What's the problem with going back to 25% capacity in the restaurant? Life will continue. We need to stop moaning, face the reality and do the right thing. It's as simple as that. This needs leadership. This needs a bit of discipline. We need to stop moaning, 